Coming up on 12 News, human remains found yesterday could belong to a West Virginia woman reported missing since March. Plus, a rare tiger is dead after being shot in its enclosure in Florida. We'll tell you why officers had to make that decision. But first, here's Josh with a look at our first forecast. Thanks, Gina. Yes, move, going out for New Year's tonight, make sure you are wrapping up because you are definitely going to need that rain gear tonight. It is going to be a wet one out there and continuing into our Saturday and Sunday for that. We are under a flood watch across the region right now, so make sure if you are heading out tonight on your way back home, just drive extra careful, being mindful of those slick roads and that um, fast moving water as that rain does continue to come down across the region. So with that, just make sure being in mind of that rain. I'll have more coming up in just a little bit. Gina. Thanks, Josh. And good evening. Welcome to 12 News at Night. As we ring in the new year, I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story tonight, state police say skeletal remains found yesterday are believed to be that of a woman who has been missing for nearly 10 months. According to troopers, the remains were found in the Seneca Creek area of the Monagalia National Forest in Pendleton County, and they are believed to be of 24-year-old Cassie Sheets. Sheets was reported missing back in March after being separated from two men while on a hike at Spruce Knob. The remains have been sent to the state medical examiner's office in Charleston. Stick with 12 News for all of the latest updates on this story. Now turning to this developing story out of Marion County now where law enforcement are still investigating a reported shooting from yesterday evening. 911 officials tell 12 News it happened just before 7 o'clock on Y Street in the community of Baxter. Officials also confirmed that one person was shot but did not say what their condition was. No one is in custody at this hour and no other additional information has been released. And a two-vehicle wreck this afternoon in Clarksburg ended with one vehicle going into a park. It happened just before 4 o'clock when Clarksburg police say a truck pulled out of Hall Street onto Milford Street and collided with a sedan. Officers say the sedan then went through a fence of Staley Park and then stopped. Kids were playing in the park at the time. However, officials say no one was hurt. Those involved in the wreck were also not hurt. Police in Naples, Florida had to put down a rare tiger that was attacking a worker at the Naples Zoo. When officers responded to calls for help last night, they found a man in the grasp of the eight-year-old tiger and were forced to fire one round to free the victim. The man, part of a third-party cleaning crew, apparently entered a restricted area and got too close to the tiger's enclosure and reached through the bars. A zoo spokesperson said the zoo has never had an incident like this happen before, but that they support the decision made by the officer to save the man's life. The extent of the man's injuries have not yet been released and an investigation is underway as officials look into possible criminal charges in the incident. Celebrating the new year is a tradition, but if it's not done right, it can be dangerous. AAA warns against drinking and driving this New Year's Eve. The National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration reports that 28 people die every day from drunk driving incidents. Instead of getting behind the wheel after drinking, it's smart to come up with a plan prior to going to wherever your, might, your night may take you. Have a designated driver with you or take a rideshare service instead of driving. You know, there's never been a reason to drunk drive, but especially in 2021 going on 22, there is especially no reason with all the rideshare options that are available out there and, you know, your, your traditional ones. On top of drinking and driving tonight, Garrity warns against driving hungover the next morning, citing a new list of potential distractions to deal with. The town of Mannington hosted its third annual New Year's Eve pepperoni roll drop in the middle of downtown with lots of community festivities. There were fire pits, heaters, live music, and vendors, including breweries and wineries for attendees to enjoy. 
Organizers say the idea came up to create something unique to the area and allows others to enjoy some fun in downtown Mannington to ring in the new year. First year was electric, which I didn't even know if this was going to work. So we didn't even advertise until like two weeks before, and there was about six or seven hundred people that came. Uh, and then the second year, of course, COVID kind of shut all the festivities down, but I still did it, and I just took my little sound system out of my art gallery there, and and we played Country Roads and and dropped it with only I don't know 50 or 60 people there, all spread out, six feet apart. Officials say that if you want to attend Mannington's New Year's Eve pepperoni roll drop, that there are plenty of places to stay nearby. COVID-19 booster shot eligibility will soon be changing once again. Hear what officials are saying about who can get the additional shot. And Jake Ostrov is in for Abby Backenstow. He'll bring us the latest on high school and college sports in the 12 Sports Zone. But first, Josh is standing by with what's to come in our full forecast. A flood watch is in effect through Saturday with heavy rain expected across the region. I'll have those details coming up when 12 News returns. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas from the Miley Legal Group. Don't you worry now. There's no need to worry now. It's been a long, long day. And you can shine now. The pandemic has made everything cost more. That's why Joe Manchin is trying to responsibly put more money in our pockets without busting the budget. Cutting taxes for working people, universal pre-kindergarten, lowering health care costs, investing in local businesses, and creating thousands of jobs. Paid for by out-of-state billionaires and big corporations. Joe Manchin is making Washington spend wisely and putting West Virginia first. Visit WBOY.com for this week's half-off hump day deal. Get $50 worth of gift cards for only $25. Looking for a way to ring in the new year? WBOY is offering exclusive deals on your favorite restaurants and businesses with special savings up to 80% off. Don't wait. These deals are only available for a limited amount of time. Go to WBOY.com and get your half-off hump day deal. NBC and Peacock present the Packers are looking to lock down a number one seed but for the division rival Vikings their path to the playoffs will be a fight to the finish Vikings Packers Sunday night football on NBC and Peacock home of Super Bowl 56 NFL Sunday night football is brought to you locally on WBOY by the sponsor Everybody in my house knows how to ride a bike except me. People ask, how your children learn how to ride a bike? And you didn't. I didn't teach them. I just created an environment where they taught themselves, and all I had to do was be there. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas from the Miley Legal Group. What if you could feel in control of your retirement in just a few clicks? At aceyourretirement.org, you can. Start with a free three-minute chat with Avo, your friendly digital retirement coach. Just answer some simple questions like, how do you feel about your ability to save for retirement? Or in how many years do you want to retire? To get free action items customized just for you, get your retirement back on track at aceyourretirement.org. Always updated, always on WBOY.com and the 12 News app. A surge of COVID-19 cases continues to sweep the country. For a second straight day, the U.S. shattered its own record for new infections yesterday. Kathy Park has more from Times Square in New York City, where they're getting ready for a scaled-back New Year's celebration. 
The last morning of 2021 capped off with a COVID milestone. Nearly 2 million new cases in a week, almost double where they were last winter. Florida shattering its all time record set just Wednesday with nearly 80,000 new cases in a single day. I think we're probably at a million plus cases a day because we have so many people that are not testing, can't get a test, or are testing at home, and that generally doesn't get reported into these statistics. The FDA is set to approve Pfizer booster shots for 12 to 15 year olds as soon as next week. Right. Meanwhile, pediatric COVID hospitalizations jumped more than 50% in the last four weeks. With hospitals stretched thin and infections soaring, the Pentagon is deploying teams of military medical personnel to Arizona. Michigan and Pennsylvania to support health care workers. The COVID surge has many rethinking or revising their New Year's Eve plans. New York City is scaling back its iconic celebrations in Times Square. It's going to be outdoors, vaccination only, masks required, socially distanced, but we want to show that we're moving forward. Boston will offer vaccines during its celebration. I am very excited that we're able to bring it back in a way that continues making our city safer, healthier, and more prepared for the new year. But it's a bumpy start to the new year for air travel. Delta expecting to cancel 200 to 300 flights a day through the weekend. And JetBlue announcing more than 1,200 cancellations now through January 13th. The cruise industry is taking a hit too, with 88 vessels under close watch by the CDC. The agency issuing a new warning to avoid cruise travel regardless of vaccination status. I think cruises, any big, any place Place where you're together with a whole lot of people over the next couple of months, you can guarantee there will be people with COVID there. And I would say most of them will not know they have COVID. 2021 has brought some tough goodbyes to famous celebrities and noteworthy figures. Let's take a look back at those who we lost this year. Blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow. 